long-winded, and I'm sorry, I apologize. I, I put 12 to 2 believing that we'd get out of here, but I never stopped talking, and I apologize for that. Um, if you ever hang out with me outside of school, you'll know that. Um, but it's always fun, and that's what we're here to do is have fun. Um, these next two students that are up here, guys, come over here. Stand right there. Now do this. Put the other hand like this. And tilt. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't help that. Anyways, these two guys have been big time, big time leaders in our group the last two years. Um, they're both not from Arizona, which makes me wonder if that somebody's doing it better, but Carson's from Minnesota, eh? and uh, Paul is from, from Texas. Yeah. And, and um, so I'm gonna talk about Carson first. Uh, Carson came to us uh, from Minnesota, like I said, and he was not enrolled in our band at all. In fact, he was enrolled in my digital concepts class, and he walked up to me um, the first day that he got there, and I believe he was like a week late in starting school, and he walked up to me, and he's wearing a Primus t-shirt, and if you guys don't know who the band Primus is, they are, um, they are a very bass guitar heavy band, um, rock and roll band, and one of, one of my favorite bands when I was growing up, and so he's wearing this Primus t-shirt, and he says, hey, do you know the band teacher? And, and, and we're, we're in digital concepts, and so I say, yeah, I know the band teacher. Why, what's up? And he's like, well, I heard you have a jazz band. And I said, yeah, we have a jazz band. And, uh, and uh, he said, well, I play bass and I wanna try out for the jazz band. And, I, and I, all I could think in my, in my mind was like, hallelujah. Here's a kid wearing a Primus t-shirt wanting to play bass in our jazz band. I mean, that's, you know he's gonna be good no matter what. And, um, and so, so I said, well, I'll, I'll talk to him and I'll see what he says. And, uh, and so anyways, I, I forget where it went from there, but I, I think like a day later or something, I was like, oh yeah, he said you could, you could join the jazz band. Um, and, uh, and then he also, I heard, heard that he played French horn and then I asked him if he wanted to join the band. And he was like, wait, can you do that? And so um, I said, well, I'm the band teacher. I can do what I want, so. <laughs> and so it was kind of fun like that. And then just watching Carson grow, um, these last two years has been amazing. Um, anything that I hand him as far as music doesn't seem to be a challenge, really. Um, I handed him a piece of music the other, uh, what, a couple weeks ago. It's called Portrait of Tracy by probably one of the greatest bass players that's ever lived. And he's already starting to master it halfway through. And I'm, I'm just thinking one day Carson's going to be an amazing uh, bass player, amazing musician. And he's probably going to take the world by storm with his playing and his abilities. So Carson plays French horn, tuba, probably trombone behind my back, trumpet, right? Uh, bass, guitar, piano. What else do you play that I don't know of? Drums, that's right. And he's, and he's a part of our um, rock and roll band as well. He plays bass, bass and drums in that mostly. Um, he rarely says anything, um, just because he's a quiet uh, personality. And, um, but very, very, very cool young man. Um, very willing to do the best and give the best all the time. Um, our students have recognized that in him and um, they have voted him our Desert Shadows Academy Band MVP. So this goes to Carson. <laughs> Carson, you may leave the stage now. Thank you.